And that we'll be adding here. Plus six. Once again, we are in their territory, but we are not raiding. Why am I not raiding? What is happening? They are in the looting stands. There are no units here that is not supposed to be raiding. Maybe I broke the game. I'm not sure why we can't raid anymore. Hmm. I'm sending this group down here just to see if they will raid here. No, they will not raid. Very strange. Uh, Hail Boy of Gork. As members of the Warband of Gork, we strive to better ourselves and each other. One way is the occasional sparring match for practice and honor. Seek out and duel Chopper of Gork Sharktooth. You will find him in our now up here. Oh, he's one of the pirate goblins. Look at this. You can play pirates, of course. Pirate goblins. In case you were wondering. They are buccaneers. Where do we see that? Oh, we can't. Here, Orc Free Buddhas. I will accept this dual opportunity, of course. We will say dual. Oh, we can invite him to court. He doesn't want to come. Duel him. Do it. His combat skill is 47. Mine is 44. So we have a decent shot. Meanwhile, we will be working on how to start raiding again. Uh, he has accepted the channel challenge. As the duel begins, Sharktooth Ghostwacker comes at me slowly. I offer him my best taunting smile, and it does not take long before I have seen before I have seen to swing my wooden staff in the perfect half circle, causing him to fall backwards with a surprised huff. I walk away victorious. So we win the duel, get some prestige, he gets wounded, and we get we get two hundred toughness. Nice. And possible to rank up in society. So we will go in here and request to rank up. Very good. I am so weirded out by the fact that we cannot raid. Like, I can't play greenskins if I can't raid. I'm going to try again. Just walking over here. See if we can start raiding. We'll walk back. It might be that I should save and reload real quick. We'll do one more test here. After the duel, Sharktooth Shark Goldswacker asked me for advice on fighting. I did not take it back. I happily offered to train with him on occasion. Today, he thanks me for being a good teacher and a friend. He adds, oh, dunking me on the back before he cocks his head. Budding friendship. But he didn't become my friend. No, we still have that rival. Living over here. I'm actually looking for a friend. As it just so happens. So, Shark to Goldswagger, do you want to be my friend? What if we started to sway him? I'll try that. He has a treasury, a standard of discipline. Nice. And we are not raiding. There is a Cuban beer called Buccaneer. Nice. Oh, because of Buccaneer. Cuban beer. Okay. Nice. My guests have arrived for the private feast I have arranged. That may be why we cannot raid. Now that I think about it, if we are carousing. That may be a thing. It seems like it shouldn't be, but maybe. Oh, we have made a friend with my heir. You're my best friend. Warpa Shakrak, Scourge of Gungri, has fulfilled the ambition to make a friend. 
Next ambition. We're running through these. Uh, we can become... We can do another win of war. Become king of the Grey Mountains. The Grey Mountains. Oh, that's this whole area here. Interesting. If I say kingdoms, Grey Mountains, I would have to be king of this mountain ridge. But I don't think I can attack you here. Now we need to border them. So in order to accomplish that goal, I would have to conquer this territory, then that territory, and make my way over here. Which is kind of what I want to do anyway. I want to rule the mountains, of course. But it is tricky moving between the mountain ranges here. And there's some ochres living here. Humans here. Vampire. Orc. Vampire. Dwarves. More dwarves. Orcs. Oh, that's a big orc faction here. No, it's not. Nope. They're just all blue. Same shades. So I have to go either through Petronia or through the Empire in order to get over there. I don't think we're on the cusp of becoming king of the Grey Mountains, so let us go for just winning a war for now. Which is not likely to happen anytime soon either, to be fair. Uh, I cannot change out of carousing yet in 2024, so five years from now. Let me try saving real quick. Let's quick save. Then uh, quit will take me all the way out of the game. We resign. Quit to menu. Had not com accomplished anything of note. Thanks, game. Single player. Continue. Just reloading it real quick to see if that'll fix the rating issue. can make the Crooked Corridor Tribe green. It's green. I have noticed that that thing is kind of bugged, but we'll just not use it anymore. We should appoint a designated regent. That'll be my son. Commander of Carrick Siflin. I'll take a six, sure. Special character actions. Oh, we can take more people into my clan. Right. Look at this guy. He's a shaman, a Midas touched shaman. He seems really interesting. Quip. Oh, Quip, he's been around forever. Green Fingers, house dog. And he's a magic user. Lord of the Wag. You know what? Welcome to the family. I would like to play him. Then we've got Scapgot. No. Uh, Gorkid, he's the dim guy. Eh. Beckett, it's been around for a while. It's not that interesting. Special character, you, Gareth. Minus two personal combat skill. One marshal. Nah. But we got another clan member. Oh, she is broke now because this war is dragging on forever. No, they have made a truce. Okay. Oh, I didn't see if she won or not. Holdings raised. It seems like she won. Should we attempt to take territory from them? Oh, they have 15 event spawn troops right now. 1500. As soon as they despawn, she only has 1600 other troops remaining. Then we can attack once those demons despawn. Let me once again attempt to move in and 
toggle looter. We are now the raiders of Warboss Chakra. We should be able to raid here. Let's try. I'm banking on those event spawn troops suddenly disappearing. Oh, in fact, we are walking right into them right now and the movement just locked. Interesting. Okay. Uh, hopefully the waiting doesn't work. Oh, they got it. They made it to their destination. And we cannot raid. Okay, I'll continue to play here. We'll just put it on slow. And then I'm gonna Google it real quick. There must... There's so many game rules in, in Crusader Kings. I am not sure why we are not uh, raiding. But if I write unable to raid... CK2. Maybe something will come up. Non aggression packs will prevent raiding, but that doesn't. Hmm. That's not it. It's not an issue that I've ever run into before like this. Setting this unit to be a looter will allow it to raid counties and holdings of other rulers for gold. This will cause the ruler in question to become temporarily hostile, yes, allowing them to attack your armies. Note that if a ruler is held prisoner, they will not be able to loot the lands of their captor. Looter armies only cost 10% maintenance if you are at peace. Uh, oh, we're starting to, to sway him. Nah, don't. But I will ask him to spend some time with me. Why not? Quip approaches you. My liege, I have a great idea for a monument. Something to raise our cultural statues and make people notice what a great ruler you are. I would require some gold and your patience. and The work will take a year to complete. Let's buy a monument. Sure. Let's see what he comes up with. Oh no! Oh, you're kidding me. Ah, we just lost a bunch of troops to attrition because it was winter. Okay, well, this is not going well. But all is not lost. Span you. We'll just have to wait for a good opportunity. I don't know, man. We can still make normal war, and I'm hoping that after one normal war, maybe something will switch so that I can raid again. We'll continue to try. Oh? They have declared a war on a vampire over here. Ah. He doesn't stand a chance, no. It might be because I am carousing. I don't think that should prevent me from raiding, but... Can't think of anything else. Oh, a goblin horde has declared war on Bretonia here. Just a random goblin horde. Huh. But 3,000 goblins isn't going to do much against 14,000 men. No. But good effort. And here's the war. Ah, they're not, I mean, they're actually losing a little bit of morale there. Huh? But not enough. 
Raiders arrive, Raiders arrive. That goblin lost that war and got executed real quick. We have sown distrust in Petonia. Nice. I still have my prisoner, right? We'll banish him. Go away. And he ran all across the world to over here. Have fun. Oh, look at this orc guy has killed the Red Duke. Damn it, dude. I need you to attack Bretonia. Same with this orc here. You would think that they would be like interested in attacking someone. They're, I'm not sure. They must have been at war with someone. Let's see how Solania is doing. Same blob. Still lit by blood. Raiders arrive. Hmm. So we're about to head into winter. Once we come out of winter, we can talk about the war again. The monument promised by Quip is finished. Upon unveiling a statue of yourself, uh, as the statue of yourself is revealed, and you notice a crowd smiling and giving you a round of applause. Amazing. Oh, and I can say, uh, it's too much, remove it, and then we get the humble trait. No, no, no. A statue of me? Yes. Gain 200 prestige. Did that do anything other than that? No. I don't think we, like, get a monument building. No. Oh, well. We should make an effigy of Gork to get extra piety. Yeah, let me build an effigy to Gork. Oh, and also, we can right-click on our own character portrait to get Warband specialization. Costs me 150 toughness, sure. Warband of Gork. My fellow members of Warband of Gork have been long been wondering when I will choose a focus for my fighting talents. There are those who live for the art of dueling, while others prefer the more theoretic side of combat. Yet torturing is also a fun pursuit, indeed. So we can be a greenskin warboss? Oi, get over here. We got a bashing to do. Don't care whose it is. Okay, and then Greenspin War Bus. Gives me various combat bonuses. Plains, farmlands, and wasteland. Hmm. So this is preference to the open battlefield, which might be nice for attacking Petonia. Then we got, oi, those stunty gits oughta get bashing. Greenskin Mountain War Bus. This war is a thing likened to a master fighting in mountains. Damage against religious enemies and siege, narrow flank, bonuses in mountains, under empire and hills. Which is good for defending my own realm. And we can say, let them come over to us. We shall, st we shall stick her in ambush. Greenskin Forest War Boss with experimentality, flanking, and combat in forest, jungle, and hills. I think it makes sense for me to be the Greenskin Mountain War Boss. Damage against religious enemies plus 5% in general, and then siege up by 10, and of course, since we're in mountains, plus 10. Yeah, yeah, we'll take that. Very cool. And we can take more green skins into clan, but now that we want, so dismiss that for now. Nothing there, and commanders. No one knew. Uh, is it still winter? No. We have about 4,000 troops ready to go. 
she's still too strong. Here we go again for another raid attempt. There's about 35 troops here. But I can't raid them. Could be a religious thing, but it's not. At least I haven't changed my religion or anything. What if I put a different leader in here? Someone who isn't carousing. No. So strange. And I'm still worried that it might be the double tribe here thing that just broke something. Which would be kind of silly. Another raid attempt. Come on. Do it. We are now officially raiding. It worked. Because I put someone else at the front. If I put myself in... No, we're still raiding. Strange. Uh, here we arrived on the 18th of the 6th month. 21 here and 11. See, I don't want to fight her. So we are going to attempt to leave. But it's nice to know that I can raid again. There. So now, <laughs> we will try again. Come down here. We just were here, but why not do it again? And now we are not raiding. Okay. Meaning that it, it worked to put someone else at the front. So it is probably the carousing thing. So let's test it again. Come in here. Gorkid is now the leader. Now move out in raiding stance. But now they're not raiding. So we were able to raid up here just for a second. Uh, and now she's at war with what? Attacking Empress Kim Kim uh, in a ra chaos raid. I don't know what a chaos raid does. It doesn't seem to win her territory, but maybe she gets some magic or some demons out of it. And she now has five 5,000 troops, so she got stronger. And you, still uh, alive and kicking. Yeah. Admiral. Duke Eduard of Montfort. Hmm. Not a name character that I know about. We build the effigy of Cork. Tony is at war. They have 13,000 troops. Here's their army marching by. Uh, a duel. Yes, an honor duel with Shark Tooth again. Same guy? <laughs> okay. I mean, sure. We'll duel him again. But we cannot because what? Um, duel is a lot involved in a war. Oh, they are at war. Yes. Okay. Can I invite you to court? No. No. Okay, we'll have to wait until they have finished up their war. Uh, how's it going? Zero percent war score for both sides, so... Not about to end.
talk a little bit. Come down from the mountain. Ah, we have managed to raid. Somehow. Still not sure what's happening with all that, but we are going to leave. It's very strange. Now it's winter, so we'll have to wait until the winter is over before we raise the troops. With a bit of luck, she gets murdered in this... Oh, look at this. She married a Bretonian? At least it looks like a Grail Knight, but she married again. But he is a Zench worshipper from the Chaos Court. And they have a daughter already? Yeah. Okay. It looks like a Bretonian head anyway, but there's nothing about him that is indicating he is Bretonian. As far as I can tell. Hmm. Okay, the war is on between these guys. If we start seeing this number go down, that means she's in battle, which is kind of what I'm looking for here. But it increased. Oh, there it went down. Once again, we will attempt to raid over here. Uh, also raise the troops here. And just destroy this little retinue here. Uh, Louis de Dame is doing things. He is not at war with anyone. I am leading the troops again, so we might not be allowed to... Oh, but we're still hostile with them, right? So we should get to fight them here regardless, yes. Oh, Battle of Gamay. It has been ages since I feel so invigorated by battle. Every day our unit is moving as if connected by some unspoken bond, I exclaim eagerly one night. Or a higher power of some kind. Um, this is all you, my lord, one of my soldiers say. Look, a look of genuine surprise on his face. <sighs> Alright, so, oh, I can increase my, my uh, lifestyle from skilled tactician up into brilliant strategist. Or I think that happens automatically. And then we can either become proud or humble. Proud. You're right. Modesty will get me nowhere. Awesome. We became uh, a higher tier strategist. Which is very useful. And we are successfully raiding here. Uh, which is not necessarily a good thing. Because this guy... Oh, he's low on troops. Uh, but the Bretonians are not at war, so they will come over and stop me. Yeah, we can't stay. I just wanted to murder that little group. And immediately, armies are being raised everywhere. The big humans, they're scary. They're so tall. Four thousand seven hundred troops now. And she has not lost any yet. I 
I can't attack her. We could try to do some shenanigans with the humans over here. 